handsome boy. Now you got your mother's eyes, your mother's smile, got your mother's high cheekbones, her perfect nose, you got your mother's silken hair, her delicate ears. Come to think of it, you seem to have got everything from your mother. I mean, where the heck am I? <laughs> There I am. <laughs> got a red dress. Yes, she does. She's got some friends downtown. Yes, she does. Got a new DeSoto. Yes, she does. She gives herself around. Yes, she does. She got one more thing. What's that? She got me. Yeah. Honey, do you understand how big St. Bernard poop is? It's the size of a schnauzer. We're gonna go to the pound and you are gonna meet a lot of dogs. And then there'll be one special dog that you will fall in love with and that will be the dog that you bring home. And the next morning you'll wake up alone and there'll be $20 on the dresser. So, sweetie, how do you feel about the interview? Oh, good, good. I hear he's very pleasant, Alex Trebek. That's whose house it is, Alex Trebek? Yeah, why? Say hi for me. <laughs> no, don't. No, do. No, don't. All right, everyone, call out your evening plans, please. Going out with Mitchell. Hey, when do we get to meet Mitchell? When it's time to scare him away. <laughs> and Wendy and the baby will be with you? Mm. And the dog? Uh -huh. Is this going to be too much for you? Oh, no, honey. While I'm at it, I'll simonize the car. <laughs> Man, I've been waiting so long for a nice, quiet evening at home with you. Oh, me too. So we're going to watch Dan Rather. We'll find a movie. That'd be great. Yeah. You two are so old. Old, yes, but also boring. That's the beauty of us. No, yeah, we like being bored. We find it very exciting. You know, if you ever die, how will we know? <laughs> Bonnie, we mock the thing we will become. Quick impression. This is you and Mitchell in 20 years. Okay, bye. This is you and Mitchell in 40 years. Yeah. Goodbye, Daddy. What about a boxer? Oh, I had one of those. What happened to him? He retired and became a bus driver. <laughs> You know, some walls, a floor, a ceiling. This place will fix right up. Good morning, Jimmy. Good morning. How do I look? Fine, but the interview's over the phone. Okay, how do I sound? Are you nervous? No, no, I feel good. I mean, what's the worst thing that can happen? You do poorly in the interview. Alex Trebek doesn't hire you. And as a result, you lose a chance to become a contractor rather than just a carpenter. And your career is never what it could have been. Meanwhile, I, as the architect who put you up for the job, lose all credibility. My phone stops ringing, my business goes under, and I have to move back home and live with my parents. No guy is interested in me because I still sleep in the same bed I did when I was seven. And because I have no job. And because I carry myself unattractively since my confidence is shot. I grow old in Lima, Ohio, and I die there alone. My body is found eight weeks later by a kid who smelled something funny while spray painting the words cat lady on my house. It was more of a rhetorical question. Hello. Hey, Sabrina. Hi, Alex. Hi, Alex. Uh, oh, is that you, Mr. Stiles? Oh, please, Jimmy. Well, it's awfully nice to meet you, Jimmy. Sabrina has shown me your work, and I gotta tell you, it really takes my breath away. Well, thank you very much. And may I say, your show takes my breath away. Thank you. Yeah, in the sense that, you know, uh, sometimes when I don't know the answer, which is quite often, I, I tend to exhale violently. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Big fan of the show is what I'm saying. Alex, can you hold on one second? Sure. Nobody comes to my funeral. <laughs> okay, we're back. So, Jimmy, uh, Sabrina says you're the man. Well, uh, thank you. Yes, yes, I am the man. <laughs> I mean, there are certainly other men, but they're not here. <laughs> 
Ask me to hold on again. I can't even get into heaven because the Trebeks, the Trebeks have turned the whole place against me. Okay, we're back. Anatoly Chubaish. Anatoly Chubaish. Good. Alex, we're back. Uh, Victor Chernomyrdin. Victor Chernomyrdin. Alex. Oh, oh, sorry, Sabrina. I was just practicing. Hey, I'll tell you what. If you're good enough for Sabrina, Jimmy, then you're good enough for me. So, welcome aboard. Oh, that's great. Thank you, Alex. Uh, oh, listen. I'll probably never need it, but is there some way I can get in touch with you? Oh, yeah. I'll make sure your office has my home number. Great, Jim. Great, Alex. Uh, what's your cell phone, Jim? Mitsubishi. Alex. Oh. <laughs> my fault. My Hi, Alex. Arancha Sanchez Vicario. <laughs> Sanchez Vicario. Alex. Anna Kurnikova. Anna. Anna Kurnikova. Better. Alex. Okay, so thank you both, and uh, Jimmy, congratulations again. Thank you, Alex. Bye, guys. Bye, Alex. Bye, Alex. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. You got the gig. Oh, I know. I'm so thrilled. And, and enormously relieved. <laughs> I never had any doubt. <laughs> Man, this is a huge menu. Uh, variety. Pick a culture and go with it. I mean, there isn't a chef alive who can do both mushu pork and kishka. What's, uh, what's kishka? I don't know. It's here under dishes from behind the iron curtain. Uh -huh. Oh, Jimmy. What? No, 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 no. Just don't, don't, don't turn around. What is it? It's a really pretty girl. So go talk to her. No, I can do that. <clears throat> Why? Because. I, I, I can't do that. I, I don't do that. I, I'm not, not a guy that does that. Why not? Because it's sleazy. It's not sleazy. Unless you're drooling. No, no, it's necessary. <laughs> Humanity will not survive unless people continue to go up to one another and talk. Well, we had a good run. Time to make way for the cockroaches. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a restaurant, Jimmy. People come here to eat. You want strangers coming up talking to them in the middle of their kishka? Yes, they do. And even if they don't, they're always a little bit flattered when you do. They are? Sure. Wouldn't you be? Well, yeah, but I'm not a beautiful woman. You know, I'm, I'm flattered when the, when the weather girl seems to look directly into the lens. <laughs> You're a big chicken, you know that? You talk to strangers all day at the showroom, but yet you won't go up to a pretty girl who's eating... What is that she's eating? Uh, Mongolian beef. I'd like to meet the guy who wrote this menu and beat the crap out of him. <laughs> Listen, all right? Talking to customers is different. Why? Because they're customers. Because I'm saying things that I'm comfortable with. So pretend she's a customer. Oh, it's all so easy for you, isn't it? You're already married to a beautiful woman. You don't have to go talk to strangers. You don't have to talk to anybody ever again, ever. I'm very lucky. Yeah. Look, what's, what, what's it like coming home every night to a dazzling girl like Donna? It's very nice. It's very nice. It's very nice. No, 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 no. You're, you're the shoulder of goat is very nice. <laughs> Being with Donna's got to be electrifying, no? You have no idea what happens after 10 years of marriage, do you, Gene? I have no idea what happens after 17 months of marriage, Jim. Okay. For example, tonight, Donna and I, we're going we're gonna to watch Dan Rather, eat popcorn, and go to bed early. And I got to tell you, we are so thrilled about the whole thing. Jimmy, don't take this the wrong way, but... If I were married to Donna, Dan Rather would be watching us. Do me a favor. Go talk to the pretty girl. Hello? Jimmy, Alex Trebek. Oh, hi, Alex. Jimmy, do you happen to have the blueprints in front of you? Uh, well, I'm actually at lunch. Dynamite. Now, Jimmy, I noticed the plans call for steps that are seven and a quarter inches high. Yeah, yeah, that's a standard height. Well, here's my problem. I don't mean to brag, but... I take an unusually high step, and I'm wondering, Jim, if that's going to be enough height for me. Well, that's a good point, Alex, but then, you know, you got to think about resale. Jimmy, the air jeopardy in 180 different countries. Do you know what I'm saying? Money not an issue? Correct. So, you can kill us, Jim, to go with an eight and a quarter inch step. Oh, it wouldn't even wound us. Huh? Oh, we, we, could, we could do it, sure. Could you do that for me, Jim? We still could, yeah. Okay, thank you, Jimmy. And let me say again how happy I am to have you aboard. Oh, thank you, Alex. Oh, and Jimmy, just in case of emergency now, do you happen to carry a pager? Yeah, I'll get that number to you. Thank you. No problem. You keep an email, Jimmy? <laughs> yeah. Could I have that address? Well, well um... <laughs> it's a little embarrassing, 
Oh, come on, Jimmy. No, no, it's just I, I, I haven't changed the name yet to make it more and more, more corporate. Oh, Jim, just tell me. It's um, lumpy bottom at yahoo.com. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Uh, is lumpy bottom one word or two? <laughs> one word. Is it case sensitive? No. So just upper or lowercase l in lumpy, upper or lowercase b in bottom. Whatever you want. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you again. Okay, bye, Alex. Bye, Jimmy. Well, took your advice. Talked to her like a customer. And? And she's coming in for a test drive. Oh, what are you, nine? <laughs> Don't talk like that. She's coming in for a test drive. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. What's next? You gonna put her top down, check under her hood, pop her trunk? Jim. You gonna rotate her tires, Jim. hug your buddies in the back? Jim. Come on. She's... She's coming in for a test drive. Oh. <laughs> and this is Orville, an old English sheepdog. Oh, a face only a mother could find. I love him. Oh, you love this one too, honey. If you'll just pick a dog, I'll give you a dollar and fifty packets of equal. <laughs> Can we have the next dog, please? This is Vince. He's a bulldog. I love him. Do you love Vince more than you loved Orville, Max, Coco, and Tinkerbell? I love Vince the same as Orville, more than Coco, less than Tinkerbell, and I need to see Max again. Oh, jeez. And more than Bonnie. <laughs> Next, please. This is Conrad Ooh, Lord. Hi, Big guy. Hey. He needs a license plate. <laughs> Can we talk poop size? <laughs> like the green giant. <laughs> well, we're galoshes. Let's go. <laughs> How about we leave and somebody adopts her? <laughs> Next doggy, please. This is Rosie, a standard poodle. Hi, Rosie. Nobody move. Hi, Rosie. <laughs> this is the dog. Seriously? Well, don't grill the poor child. <laughs> We're going to be very happy with her. I'm uh, sure we will. Uh, this one small thing. Yes? Rosie was owned by a Kuwaiti family and was trained in Arabic. <laughs> huh? Rosie? Udi! <laughs> Rosie? Tsutaki! <laughs> Rosie? Okay, but she can be retrained in English, right? Oh, no. No? You can't teach an old cowboy a new Malhobot. <laughs> Rosie, you're coming home with us. Udi alastriki o briti. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Are there any Egyptians in your house? No. <laughs> then you should be fine. <laughs> This might be some help. A phrase book? Oh, fantastic. Wendy, why don't you and your mom go through there and we'll do some paperwork. Okay. Mr. Stiles, do you want to keep an eye on Rosie for just a second? Okay, okay. Uh, Rosie, Rosie, come on, Rosie. Uh, Udi. Rosie, Udi! <laughs> oh, she Udi. <laughs> Wishbone suspension, no lift when braking, no uh, squat when accelerating. Can I get it in red? Like your eyes. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so, is this your strategy for selling cars, approaching women in restaurants? Apparently it is, yes. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, at first I, I thought that you were just going to ask me out or something. <laughs> No, no, no. No, no. I, no. I, I, would, I would never, not while there's breath left no, in my body. I, I realize. No. I never would. <laughs> well. Well. Uh, enjoy the car. I will. Thank you. <laughs> Bye now. Hi, Jean. Yeah. Jerry? Yes, Jean? Whoops. <laughs> uh, you know... <clears throat> I almost let you leave here without without asking you if uh, 
you like a, a complimentary Jaguar hat? It's a, it's a quality, <laughs> quality item, combed cotton, thoroughly adjustable. It's got a, a, a clever little ponytail port in the rear there. Oh. And so choose to, to use with a, with a ponytail. That's nice. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. Bye. Bye, Jean. Terry? Yes, Jean? What? <laughs> Would you like to have a... A, a nutritious dinner with me in a respectable, thoroughly clean establishment in the city of our Lord, Sherman Oaks, California. <laughs> Gene, you really make a girl sweat it out, don't you? Uh, I was halfway out the door there. Well, I, I was really hoping that you were going to ask me out of the restaurant. You were? Yes, yes. I can't believe that I had to buy a car to get you to go out with oh. me. You know, it is tough to be single in this town, Gene. It is so tough, but you know what? You don't have to buy the car because I'll just take the check and I'll, I'll tear it up. Would you? Sure. Because that check would have bounced so high and far, I would have been so embarrassed and, and, and in jail. So, yeah. would you just, would you call me? Uh, after the shortest possible tasteful amount of, uh, about 10 minutes. <laughs> Good. Good. Okay. Whoops! Just, I do that. <laughs> house be squirrel proof i would think i don't want to get rid of all the squirrels i want them outside i like them outside i just don't want house squirrels <laughs> no problem alex okay jim hey by the way i neglected to get your fax number yeah i'll get it to you thanks okay and take care is there a home fax as well jim uh yeah do you have a palm pilot jimmy not yet well when you do i'll call you right up thank you and again great to be working with you yeah thank you alex same here chester i'll take reasons i want to bash my head against the pavement for a hundred how do i look you look great thanks i remember Every time a boy touches you, somewhere up in heaven, Grandpa cries. Have fun. All right, and uh, you and Mom enjoy your jiffy pop and television there. <laughs> We're having sea salt with the popcorn this time. Ooh, you're an animal, Daddy. <laughs> Cut up is a gum, il beast! Why isn't she listening to me? Because you just asked her for a table near the dance floor. <laughs> Rosie do her business? Oh, yes. She made a wahish and two jum jums. <laughs> and if you're smart, you'll get right outside with your jum jum scooper. <laughs> Fury two, bucketeer. <laughs> Kidding. Kidding. So sensitive. The news with Dan Rather, news with Dan Rather, oh yes, he wears great sweaters. Hi. Hi. Where have you been? Oh, just down on the on the stair down on the downstairs portion of the downstairs. Why don't you come over here? Thought you wanted to eat popcorn and watch Dan Rather. Well, we could do that. But Dan won't be wearing this. Well, if he is, it'll be news. Why don't you lose the corn? It's a lot of candles. 53. Uh, where, where'd you get them? I've been saving them. Oh, that's great. Because, <laughs> you know, uh, some of them are, um, <laughs> very daunting. Yeah? Yeah, like, uh, like this one. Please tell me that's a rocket ship. <laughs> Baseball bat. <laughs> Perhaps it's the Washington Monument. Nope. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, that's 
Yeah, it's good. Uh, good, you're blowing them out. Why? Well, you know, we could, um, <clears throat> we could, uh, we could burn ourselves. <laughs> well, a little hot wax might be okay. Really? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell you something? Mm-hmm. Out of all the women in this house, you're my favorite. <laughs> Sorry, huh, Chess? Even after all those years, the tree still loved the little boy. Even after he left her, even after he took all her leaves and branches, even after he chopped her down, the human heart is a very generous little instrument, Chester. And what's instructive to remember is that the tree was happy when the boy sat on her. So it wasn't martyrdom or weakness or lack of self-esteem or psychopathology that impelled her. It was simply the purest of good natures. Look, it takes a wiser man than I to explain all this completely, but... But all I can do is tell you I love you. And that I ever shall. Remember that, won't you? <laughs>